Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to discuss two more light heroes that have been teased by EXO's heroes. They will drop in future updates. But before that, if you want to see more EXO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. So the story starts by us discovering this in the Coliseum. So a lot of uh, players already have um, discussed this in Discord. Uh, in their communities so just to at least discuss this um, so at least you have more or less a, a full view of what um, Schmidt can do and also Seowa so we'll start with Schmidt so Schmidt is a super elite treasure hunter so Schmidt is the general for Vagabond Nation so to start with him so we'll We'll go through his passive so he has a passive counter three so counters upon taking damage gain one mana if target dies gain mana of health if it is at 70 percent or more so that's the usual counter three then we go next to flow mana so overtime effect so he has uh, he, he grants um mana to the back row allies permanently for, uh, for one mana again um, this is his rare, or sorry, his unique passive. It's called Master's Footsteps. So grants Master's Footsteps to to allies with lower defense than the caster. So again, for for him, he has to have um, the highest defense stat of all the heroes in the team. So his other passive is Prey, afflicts the Prey mark when the skill hits. Grants turn reset for allies possessing master's footsteps when attacking uh, when when the ally attacks with an enemy marked by prey. So when Schmidt attacks, he gives the enemy um, the prey mark. Then automatically his his allies, which has um, master's footsteps, um, will uh, have a turn reset when attacking the enemy. So this is basically um, um, a nice skill to have because it gives them at least a, another attack for their basic attack. So the last would be Guardian. So reduces on own received damage by 90% when all, when all allies with Master's Footsteps effect survive. So if all of his allies survive, he reduces damage by 90%, which is a big reduction. So this is actually, I think, a guard, a god tier passive. So I'm not sure if this passive will be retained once they will be um, released or once they will be launched in a certain update. But this is actually at par with the other generals that we have um, on our roster. So for his skills, so. S1 is Grey Storm Sword, so deals 178 damage to all enemies. So mana three, mana cost three, and S2 is Grand uh, Grand Master Cross, deals 1,050% damage to one enemy, mana five, and also is a burst skill. So um, if you can remember my other my other video. Uh, with Zeon, I'll 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 post a, a, a link above here. Um, my assessment for Zeon as well as Schmidt, they will be good in PvP. So this actually this whole package of Schmidt complements Zeon already. They will be I'm not sure if they going they're going to carve a niche in the meta. By the way, guys, just a friendly reminder. Please do subscribe to my channel. Only a few percentage of about 10 to 15 uh, percent of of my views come from my subscribers. So please do support my channel. So here we are at Seowa. So she's called an innocent lady. So I'm, I'm not sure why. So, but her passive is first aid three. So grants heal of 100 percent of attack to an ally if they take damage and their health drops under 20 percent. So gain one mana if the caster's health is at 20% or less when triggered and gain mana 
if the caster's health is at 70% or less when triggered. So again, your regular first aid. Um, her next uh, passive is Spring Wind. When affected by Master's Footsteps, so take note, this is the unique passive of Schmidt. The caster grants an effect that increases Nullify Heal Immunity and Health Regenerating by 100% to all allies who are also affected by Master's Footsteps. So just, just to shorten this one, your team will be immune to Nullify Heal. Uh, Ramji has this one for Nullify Heal. So he gives Nullify Heal to the enemy team. So you'll be immune to that. Um, this is actually good as well in terms of uh, PvP. And we move on to his skills. So for his S1, it's Sky Butterfly. Heals all allies by 34% of own maximum health. Cleanses all debuff and damage over time effects from allies. So it's a, it's a mana 3 skill. And this is a burst skill for a heal skill. Her second, uh, her, her S2 is Wind Dance. So deals 255% damage to all enemies. And mana is 4. So... For Seo, I think um, she's a bit okay. She is she's a bit um, all around. Um, her skills can be good in PvP and PvE contents, um, and she is usually it. She she's built as a as a support unit, not nothing special. Um, the only special. Uh, passive was uh, Spring Wind so that she can protect um, the whole team from Nullify Heal. That's it for me guys. Um, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on these new light heroes that are going to be released. They're not released yet. So I'm not sure also that they will retain all of their skills once they are released. So anyway, um, you all stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Warden out.